It's time for Pirate Radio Live. Whippy. like that one don't I you? Like that. <laughs> okay oh my goodness we're on pause up my cats and kittens <laughs> welcome to uh this mess yeah that's right the third episode so it's into the breach Ooh, once more my once dear more. friends we keep doing this it, just keep, right. it keeps happening i know it's becoming a habit yeah it's this, like we're planning this or something that's well you'd think somebody <laughs> might be but uh you never know is this is episode three of Pirate Radio Live. Live, 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 live. We're hoping one of these days when we monetize, we can buy some effects. But uh, until then, until my cats and kittens. We do our own. That's right. We make do with uh, the lovely and talented Ray Chan here. And the lovely and more talented Bone Doggy. And of course, <laughs> our production our production uh, Nazi, Brother Bob, sitting over there in the corner, drinking margaritas. Which and he made. using he hand thought. signals. Oh, I think that one means we're number one. Oh, awesome. So, thanks, Bob. <laughs> we have a brilliant show for you this evening. We we pulled out some stops this time around. We did. We? We, yeah. brought out, we brought out some of these. Some of our most ragtaggedy bag of miscreant friends that we could find. I like that. Yeah. Rag, raggedy and, uh, tag. And a uh, little bit of everything. There's a little bit of blues rock in here. Yeah, and, a little you know, bit of grunge, country rock, grunge a little country. bit of... Teenage and, angst. Oh, yeah, yes. and and it's old what? What is it? The old what's it? Rock. <laughs> but, <laughs> Did you drop an S bomb? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Leave it in, Bob. So anyway, <laughs> I don't cuss. You don't. You don't. You swear. I do swear. Like but a I never cuss. sailor, but you don't cuss. Yeah, so I'm a lady. Yes, yes, you are. So, well, <laughs> a lady. <laughs> anyway, uh, to start off this mess, who do we have to start off this mess? Ooh, I like this one. This guy, Niels Jordan Bishop. All three of him. Yep. From Niels Jordan Bishop and the Neil Jordan Bishops. You can pay me later when that band name comes famous. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to uh, happen. I'll just, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take a nap till uh, that happens. But yeah, right. The Niels Jordan Bishop. Yeah, so I came across him... I'd probably say kind of just through the open mic phase, I was going, you know, yep. blue a J. Yep. He really kind of rolled with him, but Niels was coming. I don't know if he came. He was through. he was doing some open mics and and he yeah. was on the circuit. He was he, basically and, on the circuit. Uh, yeah, and, he's very edgy but country. Very much so. so. I, but still rocky, like the you know, he's just got that. He's got that rasp that he, we love, he does. you know, that growl. So I came. We came across him, and then he just got really into doing like playing all the shows he started a band Niels Jordan Bishop and the Drunken Armadillos probably I play I was I <laughs> I am still their bass player <laughs> <laughs> she's still you're still a right, drunken Niels. armadillo that's right Niels awesome well so without further ado let us give a listen to this yeah. young man and see how he does Niels Jordan Bishop push the button this is probably the most recent song I've written called uh, Wasted and it's about drinking for all the wrong reasons, like being depressed or whatever, I don't know, questioning God. But yeah, here we go. Sound, hold me. 
Mr. Wallace got a fit of crown on the wheel and I'm cut my teeth. The devil's got me on his leash. Lord, oh Lord, well, hear me how the old cross circles like it's my time now. Well, oh well, can't you see I'm spiraling? Won't you help me, please? Cause I've been wasted in stone, can't tell you. I'm dead or gone Can't you see the signs I'm fucked up It ain't alright Can't you hear me now Scream from the top of my lungs I've been wasted I'm wasted Hey, oh, hey, feel the breeze. This sure ain't my destiny, Lord, oh, Lord. Well, don't you see? The right guts got me by the Cause I've been wasted in stone, can't tell. That was Neil Jordan Bishop. That's right, all three of him. All, that's never I'm going to use that me. forever. No, it's never going to leave it's me. It's stuck. Now. It's stuck. It's forever. That's yeah. pretty awesome. He did a great job. He did, and that was at that was a new song he wrote yep. during COVID. So 
his COVID his tune. COVID one of his tune. COVID tunes. We we don't pay extra for COVID tunes, but we try to give people the uh, uh, credit for it. You know, so it's, since you're locked in and had nothing better to do, this is what you did. <laughs> so, uh, which is most of my set anyway. All right, next. Who do we have next up to the gallows, dear? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Brother Bill Allen. Bill Allen. Bill Allen. I've been playing music with this guy for several presidents. And uh, uh, Bill is Bill is one of those guys, he's a multi-instrumentalist. If it, if it makes noise, he's usually banging on it. And uh, uh, he's really good at guitar, harmonica, keyboards, drums, you name it. He can play it. And uh, he's decidedly Rocky Blues. Ooh, yeah. yeah, Rocky Blues. He likes to. He likes to stomp on. He can on. really. Rocky Blues is a perfect way to say it. Yeah. Yes, Rocky Blues. It is very blues. Still got that kind of country sometimes. A little bit of a twang in but there. But it's that old school. Yeah. Country, not that new age stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and he's, but, uh, he's, he's just a youngin'. Oh, yeah, and he's one of those people that <laughs> he's just a youngin'. <laughs> it makes me feel better, okay? <laughs> Actually, we're all I, young. Yeah, yes, we are. There you go. So uh, what were you going to say? I'm but, sorry. But uh, Bill, I, you know how much I love vocals and all the cool sounds that our vocals as human beings can make. And so Bill does that. Bill makes noises and... Woohoo's and he's and does all yep. that stuff and still rocking out a heavy guitar strumming and throwing a harmonica in there. Yep. And not break, breaking. That's right. Would fall he, just, he just does it and does it and does it. So he's got a great attitude. All right. Well, since we've talked him all up, let's see if he can handle the mustard. Oof. Okay. So this Bill. Bill. Alan. Alan. Take it away. All right. Last song I'm going to do, I wrote uh, a long time ago while I was driving down uh, Highway 80 outside of uh, Maniola. And there's a long stretch of highway there that runs parallel to a railroad track. And uh, I was driving along, keeping up with this train, and, you know, we were just sharing the, sharing the, the lane, their lane, my lane. And so um, I thought, you know, Freight Train Blues, that sounds like a pretty good song. So, I was driving and writing this song at the same time. <laughs> Safely, however, because there was nobody else on the highway. But anyway, little thing called Freight Train Blues. Freight train rolling down the railroad track. I'm gonna hop on board and I won't turn back. I'll stay right in the day too. Right now I got a case of those freight train blues. I didn't have the money to buy my fare, but I knew I had to get out of there. I'll be all right in the day too. Case of those freight train blues. Hold oh, on, freight train, take me far away. Take me further down the line to see a better day. Hold oh, on, freight train, I paid my share of dues. And I'm rocking to the rhythm of these freight train up to here, I'm leaving town, cause this whole thing just bring me down, well I'm trying to do for someone new, right 
And I got a case of those freight train blues I've had it up to here, I'm through with this Cause there ain't nothing I won't miss But I'll be alright in the day too Right now I got a case of those freight train blues Roll on freight train, take me far away Take me further down the line to see a better day Roll on freight train, I paid my share of dues And I'm rocking to the rhythm of these freight train blues Train blue. Oh, thank you so much. Once again, thanks, Ray Chan and Doggy, for putting this together. It's been fun. Hope everybody has a great time tonight. Thank you. I'm Bill Allen. Yeah. And that was Bill Allen. Yeah. Did not, did not uh, Ooh, disappoint. I did it not sound like a train? Uh, seriously. Did seriously. He's got up. that chugga chugga Ooh. thing. When he said it there that yep. day, he's like, this is the train song. And as soon as he started, I was like, <laughs> you are so right. And anybody in Denton would tell you you were right. He, he is, he is <laughs> he's very good at, at conveying the emotion and, and the uh, just, you know, the general attitude and mm -hmm. feeling of his songs. You know, yeah. his his drunk songs are hysterical. Oh, yeah, man. He's got some catchy tunes I that know. I can't say out loud because his, they might have cuss words in them. That's right. And his, his, drunk, his drunk songs have gotten me into trouble once or twice. So anyway, that was Bill Allen. And next up to the gallows, uh, somebody you dug up. Yeah, yeah. I came across Edgeface online and <laughs> edge face edge face okay i am not going to say anything about somebody that's got a name like edge face for obvious reasons so we'll get from there. <laughs> actually i think it's kind of cool it is it, for his sound because he he's very inspired by chappelle chappelle chavel not chappelle the chavel. comedian <laughs> see dang it rachel stop messing up he didn't even do any comedy no chavelle the car the band oh okay Okay, I'm going to shut up. Doggy, I'm going to shut up. It's okay. Go away. It's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, so he has had plenty of albums online. And right. he has he records his own stuff. He has right. this full sound. Like I said, Chevelle, old school. Like I couldn't even tell you any other band names because it's been so long since yep. I've listened to anything like that. But he's very rock, but like. Real rock. And he has a, a really lovely, smooth voice. He does. And, and he's a, He's trained. Yep. obviously and yep. he's a music teacher so oh, okay. this goes together but uh he's getting back out there and starting to play shows and yeah. was really interested in coming on pirate radio so it was really kind of cool to have somebody who's so developed with the online presence he has so many albums so much music it's online but now to be able to give him a stage which is what we're doing here yep, we're, we're bringing good. a stage to all these people and why not fulfilling the dream so we brought him in and he did the thing. He didn't get eat up by the wolves, so I'm proud of him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, well, let's give a listen to Edgeface. Shout out to all the people who went before us. And thank you to Ray Chan and Bone Doggy for hosting this. Get yourself a taco from Tequila's Tacos. I'm planning to do that. I just don't eat before singing. Got to do it after. Uh, the upcoming album is May Your Heart Be Ripped Apart, Edgeface. There are four Edge Face albums, Animals, Skeleton, Guardian, and American. And uh, my songs fit into the same categories. Stories is the most popular, Animals, Money, Spirituality. But you'll notice a large category that's missing is Love. And so all the songs on this album this year concerning love, but I usually don't write about that. So this will be the debut of track number one from the album that is not out yet. 
This is called Love is a Mockingbird. Where did my lover go? I've wasted so much time I've nothing left to show She's always on my mind Day by day Love flew away Left me here Wanting more, wanting more song In the air Like a bird Mocking me, mocking me Where did the people go? A circle became void My thoughts overflow Left us with no choice Percussion. Thank you. Up next is who's next? Whoever it is is gonna be good. I know that. All right, Tanya. And that was Edge Face. Yeah. And uh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty that was cool. Good, yeah. I, I like it. it's very catchy and and uh, really kind of. A little, little ethereal, yeah. you know, and kind mm -hmm. of spacey in there, which is kind of neat. It's one of those people that could lay back, you know. And he had an, a, 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 a guy that was sitting on the box, beating on it, and uh, we didn't get his name. So we're gonna have to, uh, we are gonna have to dig up the young man's name that was playing the percussion. I knew it until five seconds ago. Did you? Yeah. Think. Think. Listen, I can't even remember what I ate for lunch. I'm not gonna remember. A name. Paul Strawberry was playing in I want to say James, but that sounds like a name I would pick. That sounds like somebody that was probably on the show last week. So anyway, <laughs> we'll find out. We'll get it out there to you. And, or, you know, if, if you really want to know who the guy was, because he is a very good percussion player, get in touch with Edgeface. Yeah. He's all over the place. All right, next up to the gallows. We have um, one of the best-kept secrets around, uh, She's kind of our Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Oh, yeah. Or, or Dr. Jekyll, Mrs. Hyde, Ms. Hyde. Um, I'm totally going to get canceled for all of that. Anyway, this Just woman. Up, at least. Yeah, this woman has several personalities, and uh, you get to see her folky personality. She's also the lead singer of a punk band. Yeah, Tanya and the Hardings. That's right. I bet you don't know who we're talking about. Tanya and the Hardings. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah, man, that's a that's a punk band. I love yeah, I love punk music. Well, she's not playing punk tonight. 
She is uh, actually playing ukulele, I believe. Yes. Yes, but she's she is also a multi instrumentalist, as as a, a lot of these people are, because you know when we sit around at the house and have nothing else to do, we play different instruments. And so, uh, uh, anyway, uh, Tanya is, is a wonderful flautist. She is plays, that really how you say it? Flautist? It is, according so, to Schubert. What's that Schubert. thing you eat? Flautas? Flautas? No, that's flautes. I <laughs> that's don't flautes. know. Flautes. I don't eat them. <laughs> flautist is, uh, is a person who plays the flout. <laughs> and uh, basically... <laughs> She, uh, I have, I have played she in a couple a bands. Yeah, I've played in a flautist. couple bands with uh, uh, Tanya, where she was playing the flout and singing, and uh, she's just very, very. Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Energetic. No. Awesome. Doom, 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 doom. No, no. <laughs> oh, you're gonna, you're gonna have to edit the shit out of this. Doggy's gonna she get is, beat up after this episode. Here we go. Here we go. Episode. Get it right. She's very versatile. She's a very, very versatile musician. She and, is. Uh, uh, she does has a, a lot, lot of, different, of styles. different things in the community. She used to do an open mic, which I love because it was a very children geared open she mic. She still has that. What's it called? Coyote Music? Oh, yeah, that's is right. That, is that the name and of she it? She teaches lessons. So if anybody's yeah. looking or your children yep. are looking, she does stuff like that as well. She does well. online courses. She does online courses. And. and uh, She's just really awesome. I, yep. really, I think that show was the first time I got to really, really, truly hang out with her for more than five seconds. Yeah, she's and pretty awesome. She's, it was pretty cool. And she's got a parrot. And she's she does, and it's on. I've been seeing pictures and, on Facebook. It's a nasty animal, man. <laughs> I have met this bird so for face to face or beak to beak. <laughs> it just, he means yeah. that. So anyway, without further ado, let's quit fooling around and get the lovely Tanya. Yeah. Blah, Tanya. Blum. Blum. Yes! Yeah, Tanya Blum. Uh, it's always a crapshoot with that one, you know? Sorry. I get really excited when I remember people's names <laughs> correctly. Thank you, guys. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play an upbeat one now to end with because I have a lot of sad songs and I don't want to make everyone so depressed. <laughs> At least I think this one's upbeat. It's funny anyway.
you guys. Thank you, Bond Bone Doggy. <laughs> I have a I'm sorry, I have like cotton mouth you would not believe right now. Bone Doggy, thank you so much for <laughs> inviting me out. Raise your hand, thank you for having me. Am I off? Can I unplug? All right, so that was a Tanya Blum or Bloom, depending. <laughs> I think it's Bloom. I think it's Blum. I'm pretty sure it's. Blum. I think it's Tanya Blum. I think I asked her and she said it was Blum. Okay, but if it's not Blum, well, we're gonna Tanya, go with that. We're, we're, we're gonna go with that one. You are allowed to be mad at us. Right there, you go, <laughs> or just correct us very loudly. So, yeah. all right. Uh, next up to the gallows after uh, the lovely Tanya is. Uh, this is a, uh, when I first met this young lady, I think she was literally 13 years old. Yeah. And, and uh, she come up and, and she was doing the, uh, she was doing the open mic at LSA and she became a regular. Wasn't she like starting out on Cajon for Jay she, Nicole? Yes. She was still doing vocals with her at this, or at least from what I remember. So right. She, like, and then she she it. actually she actually duoed with a, a couple of her uh, uh, contemporaries Jade Nicole and and uh, some other people that came from that particular school, and uh, uh, she finally just settled on going solo, and uh, she did right. She did, <laughs> and and next thing you know, I think she played keyboards at the very beginning. Yeah, I remember a keyboard. And then the guitar showed up. She started playing guitar, and then she ended up with a cajon, and she built this device. That was a backwards bass drum pedal, and and she was using that to play the cajon while she was doing the. You can do that when you're 14 and have the energy to care. So anyway, um, she did that. She got really good at it. She did. She is this young lady is one of the hardest working uh, women. She is around. She solid is solid all the time, all and the time. she is so kind. Mm-hmm. Because I understand children sometimes, or not children, I don't want to call her children. She's not a child, but... No, she's she's 17 or 18 by now. younger, I don't get along with them all the time. Yep. Especially my... Teenagers? <laughs> yeah. The ones you want to put in a spaceship and shoot into the sun? I did not say Only that. because when I look at them, I'm like, oh, you're just reminding me that my daughter will be there <laughs> for too long. <laughs> no, um, but she, yeah, she's so sweet, so kind, and she is. Yep. Funny, man. She is, she is. bonky. I like and of course, her. we're talking about the lovely and talented Remy Riley. Yeah. Yeah. So let's give Remy Riley a run. Right. So, I am really not at the right age to be having children. But I wrote this song about... Um, uh, like a message to my future daughter or son, basically explaining to them how they deserve to be treated or by any human. And this goes for any human, not just the, how I wrote it. The mindset I wrote it in wasn't really intended to be just about that, but mostly just about to any of you guys out there that you never settle for somebody. And even in, in your daily interactions, like people should be kind to you and you deserve to be loved. So yeah, this is called Daisies. And they're my mom's favorite flower. When I present the words to my daughter, there's a few things that she should know. I hope she talks to flowers and watches them grow. Cause the wait is worth it, although the process is slow. And when she falls in love, I want her to understand. That there's more than just a face that comes with the man. She know what she likes and like what she wants. This bed was a nice, but all the roots strong enough. Daisy, Daisy, she wanted Daisy. Take her on a day 
But he leads her to the car before she can finish her day. She asks, Where are we going? I really like to know. Cause the last time I checked, I didn't need a That was a Remy, Remy Riley. Riley. Yeah, she's got. Did you so know good. that she has a different last name than that? I'm not gonna go out and say what her other last name is, but it was the name that you said. She she put when she put her name in my phone, she put it in wrong, and I called her the wrong name for three and a half years while she giggled at me. And uh, when we were setting up this gig. Is when she finally set the set the uh, story straight and let me know what her actual name was. Is so, it actually Remy Riley? I don't know. That's the one I'm using. That's the one where you. That's the one I'm going. She said, "Here, let me change it for you," and I still don't trust it. Uh, but you know. I hope Remy, if you ever grab his phone again, just keep changing it every time. <laughs> New name. Yes. Let's keep playing. The Thank day. you, Ray Chan. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Speaking of. Next up to the gallows is uh, you. Yeah, it and, is me. Yeah. And this time I brought my brother again. From From the terrible cloning accident. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> very true. I mean, so many times, if I was tall enough, because mm -hmm. he's way taller than me, most people are, but I, we used to like, there was one point in time where we both had the same haircut and the face is almost there. <laughs> like if he didn't have that beard or maybe I had a beard. I was going to say, I'm glad you got rid of the beard. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. So <laughs> there just couldn't be any more Clint Watts's in this world. That's right. That's right. You can only have one. And so uh, next up to the gallows, we have our lovely Rach Ann and her brother Clint and some pretty awesome harmonies coming up. Yee. All right. Let's give it a spin. Push the button. Send up, take a chance, to scream and shout Time is now, hours up, there's nothing left to doubt See what we're all about Be loud, stand proud, it's what you need Rise up, be heard, see the world's epiphany And then it's blasphemy I know that it hurts It's a long way down when there's no one around To see if you would sink or fall You mean the queen of it all So take my hand, let's make a plan To seize the day if it's what you choose to believe It's you and me to the bitter end And they won't comprehend all the shit and the hell that you've been living with But never will again They lose their minds all the time, now you can breathe They took your will and your voice, now you can't even speak But together we will not claim defeat I It's a long way down when there's no one around To see if you would sink or fall You 
that in there bob you're still going to i know <laughs> and that totally didn't suck yeah there go. All no right. that that was a song it's called the queen uh my brother wrote that he did write it as a duet so it was initially supposed to be switch off verses From one but of the that bands. song is written for women not it's it's about um coming from a man's perspective about how can i say shitty you just did. Oh, okay. How <laughs> shitty. <laughs> Whether you can or not, you just did. So I'm walking away from this one. But it's just how he just put out a song to show the women in his life, like, I know life's not going right. well and you got pooped on and taken advantage of and all these things. And it's like a, an anthem for that. Like it's yeah. an anthem for women but written from a male's perspective. And it's beautiful. And so when we I came into that, we – uh took me off back and forth vocals trade-offs mm -hmm. to him singing like I know all this is happening to you and I'm over here when I come in I'm like yeah it does suck so it was so really so pick that up it's kind of like a question yeah and answer like and it was thing. really cool. a conversation type thing and it's just I, I grabbed onto it it's the sister song to Forever Isn't Free right and uh, I don't think he really expected me to like it as much yeah. but when he came to me I was like dude I love it yep and I love any song that you, you're you guys have. Sing you, and, and it's what I love playing with siblings. Oh yeah, I really do. I've I've had the good fortune to play with my son. I've played with my brother. Um, I've played with my son and my brother, 
and uh, uh, just you know, it's just a blast to play with it siblings. Is. You have that symbionts mm -hmm. that doesn't happen any other oh, time, you know, and and so it always comes together very nicely. I bet a lot of twins could probably create some dope bands like Good oh, yeah. Charlotte. Yep. Although I didn't remember they were twins until I watched a music video like yesterday. <laughs> All right, so we're about to wrap this mess up. We are, and we're going to do like we always do and end with Moy. Moy over here, and uh, I think we're doing a brand new tune that was literally written at 3.30 in the morning. And, and uh, it's, ap 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 it's appropriately titled Why Philip Glass Keeps Me Up at Night. And what happened was is, is I was sound asleep, and I woke up, and I had a melody in my head, and it was not going to go away, and it was not going to let me go back to sleep. So I got up, and I went into the studio, fired up the machine, and just started pushing buttons. And uh, this is basically what come of it. It's, it's, uh, uh, I'm a huge fan of Philip Glass. Uh, he's a modernist composer. Uh, he's also a minimalist. He has a really strong penchant for arpeggios and uh, yeah, rhythms that, that go on that and on and on and on. He'll do it for hours. And uh, fortunately, you're not going to be subjected to that. So uh, this is a sh rather short little tune, I think. It's only half an hour. It's only half an hour. <laughs> so uh, here it is. Uh, Why Mr. Glass keeps me up at night? Why Philip Glass keeps oh, me up at night. Same guy. Bone doggy. <laughs> I don't know if anybody in this room is familiar with Philip Glass. Yes, of course. Philip Glass is probably one of the most important and influential composers of the 20th and 21st centuries. He is a minimalist and makes a great deal of use out of uh, harmony, mixed with arpeggiation, mixed with uh, uh, rhythms for hours. <laughs> they go on and they go on and they go on. I'm not going to do that to you, but what I am going to do is just a little experimental thing that I've been kind of messing with here. And uh, this is called Why Philip Glass Keeps Me Up at Night. <laughs> It's in C-sharp minor.
That's what you do at three o'clock in the morning. We really want well, that's uh, <laughs> that's what we have for the show for uh, this time around, Philip Glass. And uh, basically, we would like to thank Nils Jordan Bishop, Philip Glass, Bill Allen, Philip Glass, Philip Glass. <laughs> Edgeface. Philip Phil Glass. Glass, Tanya Blum, <laughs> Philip Glass. Glass, Remy Riley, Philip Glass, Rach and Clint, Clint Watts, featuring Philip Glass, <laughs> and yours truly, Philip Glass. And so, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> thanks for coming out and seeing us. Our next show will be uh, in April. We'll have a, a new show. We've got we've got a performance coming up in uh, March. Yep, coming down. And, and April usually follows March unless sometimes. they decide to change it for some reason. Might which, be the next yeah. cancel culture. You know, I know. They're going to get rid of April hey. and just go straight to May. How about let's get rid of April, May, June, and July and just go straight to August. Then it'll be like 90,000 degrees outside. I'd rather go just straight to Christmas. <gasps> now we're speaking. I know. Now we're I talking. No, yes. we go straight to Christmas. And Can then we have... just only have Christmas, Halloween, and Thanksgiving? tax return time? <laughs> All those three, just keep, keep them coming. <laughs> Forget th You know, if we did take off some of the days of the, of the year, Mm -hmm. We all probably wouldn't be miserable as much. That's we wouldn't have true. as much bills. That's true. That's true. You'd miss you'd miss uh, uh, some of the uh, deadlines. For and bills. as long as we sleep the whole time, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the lovely and usually comatose Ray Jan, my name is Bone Doggy. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'd like to remind you: never eat anything bigger than your head. Tune in to Pirate Radio Live. Ciao, Bella. <laughs>